What up, what up, what up? What's going on, guys? Your boy Jazz. Welcome back for another NBA 2K14 online ranked match. First and foremost, let me give a shout out to King Jackson. Every video that I do, and I mean every video that I do, he's leaving a comment. Just simple, just NBA 2K14. Where's 2K? Where's the 2K? I got you, Jackson. I got you tonight. Tonight. So we went with the Celtics. Our opponent decided to uh, match up with the Trailblazers. So, you know, respect for him for, you know, matching up and picking a lower tier team, you know, than going with the Thunder or Heat or whatever. I mean, not that Blazers are lower tier, but, you know, I'd rather face them than some of the better teams in the game. And one thing I noticed, look at his record. He played like 60 some odd games. So he's definitely a veteran. And uh, his drive percentage was also very high. So right there, you notice who I got that point guard right there? My boy Ray John Rondo, right? He was only in for like a minute, and I, I don't know why. He wasn't injured. He just was removed from the game, and I don't know why. I, I don't know why. I couldn't figure it out. Right there, just a bad pass by me. He did a very good job of predicting the passing lanes. I give him that. I, I could understand. With so many damn online games, he's pretty much got that down. Right there, we got an open lane to up and under. And we end up scoring, uh, tying up the game. Right there, you see Rajon Rondo's eye, and I'm looking. I'm like, where's Rondo? I need Rondo. I picked the Celtics to control Rondo. For whatever reason, there was no Rondo. And I don't know why. He, he started the game. I made sure he was in the lineup. And then there was one uh, timeout. And he was just gone. Just vanished. Thin air. Never seen again. I couldn't figure it out. Right there, scoring. I'm going back to him. I'm like, yo, where the hell is Rondo? Rondo is somewhere in this damn lineup. I know he's somewhere in this lineup. Look at me not even moving. Trying to figure out where the hell is Wando. Where is Wando? <laughs> so, right here, nice ball moving by him. You know, uh, he, def um, as he definitely lied to me because it was his fault. Uh, the statistics definitely lied to me because it said he drove, like, a big percentage. But all he shot was mainly jump shots. Right there, nice inside bucket right there. 12 to 10, we got a little bit of a lead. Pump fake, we drive. Oh, look at me with the hop step layup, though. Look at me with the hop step layup. You guys taught me that, though. So we end up going for two and one. Right here, I, I pause time. I'm going to substitution. I'm like, where the hell is Rondo? And I'm like, out. How was he out? He wasn't injured. He was perfectly fine. And then uh, I pressed time out so I could do my sliders. And then he was just gone. And, and I don't know why. And I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. One thing I noticed that hurt me uh, badly. Hopefully it doesn't hurt me enough where I lose the game. But I had trouble dealing with the team's lineup. You know, whenever they need a break, I would scroll over to bench, you know, just a quick substitution package. And they had, like, two starters in the bench package. They had, like, Humphreys and uh, somebody else, like the starting shooting guard. Like, I had trouble getting substitutions in. Right here, I'm just wasting the clock, seeing if I can just go on ahead and uh, get the final shot. Unfortunately, we don't. But we are up tw uh, 20 to 12. So, obviously, it doesn't come into effect now. But later on in the game, as I'm trying to, you know, give my guys rest as we end up going for the fast break. Ah! And we end up pulling up 24 to 12. So, we got a very nice lead. We're up 12. You know, we're feeling good. And uh, even though we don't got my boy Rondo, right now it's 25 to 17. Quick little pass. Nice little layup. And uh, 28 to 17 right now. So, uh, definitely, you know, like I said, man, we're feeling good. We're playing very well. It, it all just went downhill when I felt like my guys were just getting tired and I, I couldn't substitute people. I, I couldn't. I, it felt like I only had like seven guys there. I don't know why. Look, I'm looking. Guys are tired. I'm trying to find guys to put in, but then they're tired because they've been in our game. And then I'll go to the bench package and two of them are tired. And, and I, look at that ball movement, though. So I had a real difficult time. Of being able to substitute my players. I don't know why. I've never had that issue. You know, I've never went to the bench package and had two of my starters in there. So, uh, I was just confused. Right there. You see, he's making, a, he's making a run. You know, he's making a comeback. Right now, it's all the way up to 30 to 28. We shoot a three. And thankfully, we made that, man. Because we had trouble scoring. And like I said, that's where it hit me. A lot of my guys were extremely tired. Like, they were very, very fatigued. And like I said, I, I just had trouble finding subs, man. I don't know what the hell it was. Right here, the quarter is ending. We are up one, and uh, that's exactly how it's going to stay. We don't get any basket. We end up missing that shot. So we go up into halftime up one, and 
you know, we, we was up as much as like 12, but we just had a big meltdown. Uh, right here, we are up three, and we started to do a run. You know, we started to come back a little bit more. Quick little pass right there. Thankfully, I made it because I would have been highly upset if I didn't because I tried to shoot, but for whatever reason, I didn't get any animation. 39 to 37 right here. Quick little uh, move underneath the rim. You guys know I just live inside the paint. So 41 to 37 at this point. All he's doing is just chucking up threes with Lillard. I mean, he's just showing threes like crazy, showing a whole lot of jump shots. So you see me playing 2-3 right here. He uh, actually drove for one of the few times. Nobody kicks it out. And that's all he was basically doing, ball movements and shooting jump shots. But that, that right there was really, really good ball movement. So 44 to 41 at this point. We got a corner shot. He uh, jumps, passes underneath, quick little easy layup. And now we are up 46 to 41. And again, just wide open lane. We go in for the dunk. And then it got to a point where I was finally, you know, uh, paused it, went to substitution, and found anybody that I could who just wasn't, you know, playing because everybody was tired. So I finally got like a fresh lineup, and then that's where things started to uh, go against me, man, because those guys weren't really good. I couldn't do too much with them. But right there, we got Gerald Wallace, man, who had a had a big game for me. 50 to 41, you know, right now, okay, we're back in the groove here. We're back up nine. All we got to do is continue, and we should be okay. Right there, man, just stop and pop for a three. And uh, he missed a ton, but he also made a lot. So even though that was a two, uh, Pinky Toe was on the line. Drive the lane right there for a layup, and uh, we are up eight at this point. So right now, we're about to head into the fourth quarter. As you see, we do have ball, and right now, we are up 11 at this point. So right now, we're trying to get a basket before the quarter ends. We end up chucking up to three, which we do end up missing. But as I've said, man, we are up 11 going into the fourth. 11. Now, I, I'm not one for blowing leads. I mean, I haven't played too many games right there. You see me struggling to find substitution, struggling to find people who's not tired. Like, literally struggling to find players who's not tired. So, uh, right there, we end up hitting the jump shot. So, we're still up 11 with a little bit five minutes remaining. Ten, we're up 10 with five minutes remaining. Right there, of course, my nemesis right there, the offensive rebound. And uh, right there is a steal. And we end up uh, driving, passing, but it wasn't a... Good pass by me. He ends up getting the ball back, which he does end up doing a nice pass and a layup. So, you know, right here is what I got all the benchies in. You know, anybody that I could find just to give the starters a break because they played so much. And I, I just had difficulties finding players. So, right now, I have all of the, like, 68 overall people in. You know, uh, right there, we chuck up a three, which just was, was a bad shot by me. I should have taken my time. Then he stops and pops the three. And that right there, I'm looking at the score. Like, okay, now I'm getting a little worried. You know, that right there is no bueno. I got to be able to, you know, get myself a better shot than that. So, right here, we try a pick and roll action. We roll around the outside, and we go up, and we try the layup, but unfortunately, we end up missing. So, he ends up getting the rebound. So, I'm only up five right here. Another three, and he makes another one. And I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. How do I let this lead slip away from me like that? So, up to, again, I have everybody who's starting on the bench because they've played all game. Everybody's tired. Try to pass it, a steal, fast break opportunity, and now it's a tie game. And I feel horrible, horrible, thinking how I give up this lead. So now he takes the lead for the first time that I can remember since it was like 4-2. So right now I got to get back in the groove of things. You know, I'm starting to make some more substitution packages. Right here, nice little layup. We end up tying up the game. And now it's all about defense, man, hoping we can go on ahead and get some stops, man, because he's just been making some threes, and it's very, very frustrating just to, you know, ha he does that too. I noticed that even if you're in somebody's face, if you don't get a reaction, if you don't jump or put your hands up, they will make it. So he was doing that a lot. You know, I'll be covering the point guard with Lillard. He'll just go up and just shoot, and he'll shoot so quick that I really wasn't expecting it, you know. Right there, we drive. We have a wide open three, which we do end up thankfully making it. And uh, we went back and forth with threes at this point for a little bit. And uh, he made it 69, and I believe I tied it with 69. So right now, less than a minute left. It's 70 to 70. He has ball. You know, I want to play some good defense. And we get a blocking foul, a shooting foul. And I'm like, wow, you have got to be kidding me right now. So, of course, he goes on ahead, and he makes both. And now we're down to a little less than a minute left. So we need to go on ahead and score. So... Here we go. Hopefully, we can go on ahead and get a bucket. You see, I'm just looking for substitution. You see me looking for subs more than any game I've played. Right there, I get stripped. And I'm thinking to myself, wow, that is such a horrible way to end a possession. We get a block, right? And then I get stripped again. 
And I'm like, what is going on here? Oh my goodness, he goes to the free throw line. He does miss the first attempt. So it's not a two possession game. We're still technically in this ball game. So he does make this one. It is now a three point game. So 32 seconds left. You know, we're not out of it yet. You know, I have been able to make some threes this game. So it's not like it's impossible. So here we go driving. Uh, see somebody on the wing. He jumps too early. You know, the lane is wide open. So we figure we're going ahead, take the easy basket. You know, right now it's a fouling situation. So we're going to go on ahead and put him on the line. Hopefully he can go on ahead and miss some free throws. But unfortunately he made both. So we're still down three. You know, right there we pop it. It would have been a two anyways, but we end up missing. He grabs the rebound. We foul him. And that's the end of the game, man. We just end up losing. He just makes some free throws at this point. And there's just nothing we could do. We couldn't come back. And again, one, first off, I lost Rondo for the game. I don't know how it happened. I don't. I really don't. Rondo was just done. He was just gone. He just decided, I don't feel like playing no more. And then, <laughs> excuse me, then I would go to my bench package only to see starters in there. And I'm like, who the hell is relieving the starters? You know, what about the other two guys that are still in the, the bench package? You know, when I go to my bench package, why are two starters in there? I, I didn't get it. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. But nonetheless, man, we end up losing. Can't blame nobody but myself. I know why the reason I lost. You know, I was doing very well. But then a little later towards the second quarter and then towards the third quarter, my guys were very, very fatigued. He was just running by me. My guys were extremely tired. And every time I tried to sub somebody in, uh, I just couldn't do anything with the the backups you know then i was able to i put in my backups to begin the fourth quarter i think until like three minutes left i just left them all in there trying my best to go on ahead and freshen up the starters and i was just unable to score i had trouble scoring uh joe wallace right there had the best game for me but unfortunately we end up losing i think we had a winning streak of like two to three games and it just comes to an end so that right there sucked so we are now nine and five uh, you know, that right there was a game that we were up 11 in the fourth, man. That hurts to know that I was up that much and just gave away such a big lead, you know. Uh, unfortunately, it happens, though, and we are now 9-5. and five. So that's the end of the game, man. I hope you guys enjoy. As always, it's your boy, Jess, signing out. Peace. Give it to me, baby.